Yo, what is going on, boys? Asian Sensation back with another bang. Today's episode, we got our boy Lokesh here, and we are playing some friendlies. A tryhard best of five is what we're doing today. So, Lokesh is a really good player. He actually has a channel of his own if you want to check him out. I'll uh, pin it in the comments below. But also, if you're not subscribed to us, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like today's video because we have been popping off, boys. Content-wise, um, YouTube-wise, everything's just been uh, firing all cylinders. So, I appreciate the support. Okay, he's actually starting with a passive start, so I think he might be going Wiz Farm Super, maybe? Okay, no one uses that but me. Um, it's likely a Dart Mirror here. I didn't think Lokesh was a Dart player, though, so this is a little odd. I expect... He's just, like, a really good NG main, so this is interesting to see a little DVD here. Dart versus Dart. But good luck, have fun. Like I said, try hard best of five. Um... I'll probably pick Swan Lake as my losing map. The loser of each game picks the next map, by the way. So I'll probably pick Swan Lake. And then, honestly, maybe something like Wizkeep. Because I think my Dart is better than Lokesh's. But his NG is, like, really good. So I don't want to pick a map where NG is, like, really dominant. I mean, offside just is. But this is, like, the natural starting map, you know? Um, anyways, I think he's going to greed for his plantation here shortly. Let's get this going. This is my first game of the day. So we might need this... Uh, oh my lord, we might need this to act as a warm-up game, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully all goes well though. Let's put you on close here, puppy. And catch those leaks on first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, let's chill here eco-wise. I don't know why he waited so long to aggro. But he was passive McGee and all of a sudden now he's just hitting us with some aggression here. And we're gonna leak because of it. It's, it's a really, really well-timed rush, honestly. He blended it perfectly with the um, round, whatchamacallit round end of round four ai because there's a ton of group blues so he just got max value from his eco balloons super well played on his end um let's go ahead and get up our second trip dart so i don't die here on like a good plan chat and then we're gonna go ahead and hit him with some aggression of our own here let's see how he handles this i know he wants to go for a plantation but he's not gonna be able to do so he's gonna need at least two trip darts here or just go for a spolt but now i'm just gonna send you blacks and probably be able to force double trip dart anyways this is kind of a strange play I think I could balloon boost this. I don't know if it's worth it, though. Well played so far. I probably... Since I'm low on lives, I think we just have to go for a spolt here. If I had a healthy live count, I would just greed and get like a 0-2 dart like back here. But in this spot, I think it's fine to play how I'm playing. Now we just save up for our farm and sip our coffee. All right. So I'm guessing he's got a little bit more eco than us. Also, I butchered that farm placement. I don't like how there's a little gap there. I'm OCD about that. Wouldn't be surprised if he sends me a massive round nine balloon boosted yellow rush because that can overwhelm my current defense, especially when I'm low on lives. Now we do have three spikes and each spike is 20 lives essentially. So technically we're at 97 lives, all things considered. But I don't like to think of it like that. Um, I'm gonna go for a farm, super greedy, super greedy. Oh, he's gonna do the same. Uh, I don't really feel like aggroing. I think I just play passive here. We'll just start saving up. And I'm getting down this dart because I'm not going to farm any time before I get my jug here. So I'm going to need that for round 11 anyways. It's not like I'm missing out on farm money. We'll send this. Wait for him to force my jug here. There it is. Perfect. That is fine. And now we just work on getting up our second spolt here in a second. Also want to get this on strong with range. Having this dart hit the like, mid path is really good. Okay, we're going to go like that. And I think we can just... Oh, why are you triple spolting, buddy? Just target your darts better. That's a rookie dart move right there. You do not need three spolts there for round 11. Especially against a non-bloom boosted rush. Okay. So, there's a chance he goes for a bank right here. I'm going to get mine round 13. Actually, I can just play BIA. We can just play BIA here. Get these both on strong again. He rushes. With another spolts. It's okay to burn spikes if we need to as well. Oh, that's a farm. That is indeed a farm. I had to triple spike that or else I'm dead. So that kind of sucks, but we do defend. Now I need to force defense on his end as well. Uh, I shouldn't need to really... Uh, we'll bloom boost some zebras at the tail end of this. This actually might overwhelm. Because I don't think he's targeting his trip darts. He's not. See, like, we got max value from that rush. We forced four spolts there, bro. Amazing. So now the play is to just turtle up and get a round 16 BIA. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. He's getting a ton of farms over there, that's fine. And yeah, the spike saved my life there. If I didn't triple spike that, we would've died. So he might try to BIA right here. It's fine. But I think we both just passive up this round. I'm also fine boosting to a round 16 rush if we really need to. But I'm not certain that he's gonna send me anything. Yeah, he's not. So we'll be able to get up our BIA this round, which is great. And it's gonna be, it's a very even match thus far. So there's the BIA on our end. He gets up his BIA as well, well done. And now we just kind of sit here and wait. We do have to deal with Moabs soonish. And that's actually when a laser blast can be really, really helpful. Um, shout out my boy Melly Ray. He's got the text with the super defense, but I don't know how I want to play it yet. I guess we can just boost to the first Moab. It kind of depends if he balloon boosts it or not. I'm gonna send him a balloon rush. I'm not even gonna send him a Moab. He might do the same. No, Lokesh gives me Moab rush vibes. I'm not gonna lie, man. Yeah. No, Bloom Rush! Interesting. We're good here. Looks a bit spooky, but we're good. Okay. He did go... Why was there such a delay to his rush? Like, he Bloom boosted, and then the rush came, like, an hour later. All right, we're gonna send him a Moab. We can send Leds behind it, since he doesn't have a front jug. If he tried to send me a Moab with leads behind it, it wouldn't do anything because this jug on last just shreds the leads. But I think he... Let's see what he does here. He might just boost this. He does boost it. Fair play, man. And spikes. Is that enough? Low-key might be death. Okay, his jug's on first, so I'm trying to take advantage of that, but he has boost, so I can do much. Okay. We expect to be sent a Moab from our boy now. Only right. Let's see. I'm gonna go for double uh, BIA as well, because this is probably going late game. Plus, we probably both have super. Ooh, I could have forced cash out there. All right, let's just force double jug here. Really good. And we're just getting eco. That's all we're doing. And yeah, he needs to work on his dart targeting. He should not be struggling this much. Okay, we're just getting eco, and then we're saving up to get a BIA. Because I'm gonna cash this out either next round or around 22, I'll cash it out. 1200 eco. We definitely have the eco lead now. I'm gonna save up for farm number two. And yeah, end of this round, we'll cash out. Or start of next round, we'll get a second BIA. Which is great. We're just playing super heavy eco. I can actually eco harder here. Completely fine. But I do need to make sure I can defend round 22. So I might need to get up a second jug. And I would like to get a second jug in the back over here. Simply for Moab cleanup. In case he randomly sends a Moab. I don't want all my jugs at the start. Because then they're not going to be able to catch ceramics from Moabs and stuff. Yeah, we'll get a BIA in a second here. Let's do that right now, actually. And I'm going to go for a third jug here. He might just boost greed this. Let's see. Oh, he's going for a facility. Oh, that jug's on first. That might kill me. No, we're good. Okay, we're good. And now we just keep farming, dude. Farming Marvin. So he's actually going the facility route, which means he might have ace. He might have ace. I'm playing super passive because guess what? I need a... Yeah, he. Ha, I think he has ace because he's going double fact route. And I need as much money as possible to defend late game. And that really... That's going to involve just us getting a ton of eco and playing passive. That's how you're supposed to play the Star Farm Super for Star Farm Ace matchup. You want to just make sure you're loaded with cash for the late game. And that's fine. And then if he does have DFA, we just play passive. And then round 35 through round 37 is when we can start our counter rush. So he's going to send Moab. Yeah. So we just go Laser Blast like this. And this will actually defend. Perfect. That's the Melee Ray tech right there, baby. It's actually a little bit cheaper than going for... A fan club. Let me see. What is 4,800 divided by 0.8? I'm doing mid-game calcs in my head. Um, 48. Uh, it's like 6K. Yeah. That's good. Let's go for uh, BIA number three here. And we have 2,000 eco with three BIAs working on four. I don't know how he's going to play this upcoming uh, few rounds. Let's get these darts on first because I'm a little bit spooked. We're also maybe gonna need a fourth jug here, which we'll get back here. Again, I kinda want my jugs in the back. And we'll rush him here. But yeah, the reason you go for a laser blast with epic range is epic range actually increases, the doubles the pierce, I believe. So he just boost screeds. He definitely has ace, man, right? Another Moet? 
Oh, I thought you were saying Moab. A ZOMG! I was gonna say, my my darts are targeting something over here. I didn't know what it was. That's crazy. A little ZOMG ski here, eh? So, the optimal way to play this, you can go for a Sun God. But I think just one singular TT, Tech Terror, will get the job done. Let's go ahead and cash out one of these. Like this. And yeah, we're just gonna Tech Terror this in the back. I think that's fine. We actually don't need to pop this quite yet. So we can stall. Uh, never mind. We can't stall. Too late. Um, like that. I'll sell this BIA that's like full. This one. And yep, we will uh, like that. No way. Unlucky. I had to double TT that. That's That was like the worst possible situation there. All right. Now I'm going to go for fax. That was really bad. He's sending me something else. No, just AI mobs. Don't freak out, Asian. We're chilling. But yeah, now we can go like this. Oh my gosh, I almost just choked to AI, man. What did I sell? Okay, he's like infinite sending. This is fine though. We have like 3,000 more eco than him. I thought I had a full BIA. Yeah, 18k. Give me that money. So now is a Sun God tech. I think this is actual correct play. We go for Sun God here. And then we want Max Fan Club. And I think this should solo on its own. I think. Let's get you going again. This could just be a boost spot as well. No, that defends. I knew it. That just defends. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna sell that. We have 3,000 ego. This is amazing. Our farms are great, bro. All things considered, he's been playing aggro the past few rounds. This is great. And yeah, we want our sun god in the back for cleanup. So other than that blunder with the tech terror, we're actually doing quite well. So here, here she's sending around 30 ZOMG. I think he said oops, because I think he actually sent on around 29, which would mean this is around 29 strength ZOMG when it comes onto the screen, as opposed to around 30. And ramping starts around 30. So this is a weak one. Yeah, you can tell. So yeah, that we shred that way too quickly. But now the second ZOMG behind it is like twice as strong as the first one, because he actually sent it on around 30. And now we can go for we can go for a couple robos, but I don't really need to. I think Sun Gods is just fine here. Let's get a robo here though. One robo monkey. And we can just keep farming. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm a savage like that, baby. Round 32 is here. So he has a Spectre, which he needs. So nicely done there. We need to make sure we have that going. Boost spot here, because AI almost got through double Sun God, which makes no sense. Sell you, sell you. Let's get a, our robo is on strong, perfect. And we just wanna be chilling here with our sun god army. We're sending quite a large rush. I'm fine selling that BIA. We have, this is a massive rush. I think we're just bing chilling. Like this should be a fairly easy defend. I don't think I even need to like tech terra micro at all. So basically we just defend until round 35 and then we can go ahead and counter. And the reason we count around 35 is that's when it's going to become extremely difficult for a DFA player to defend. Because the ground zero is just not doing as much as he would like <laughs> at that point. Okay, we can get a Tech Terra here for the start of a Tech Terra to micro. But yeah, we're handling this quite well. I haven't even needed to Tech Terra any of this, this is UMG rush, right? Yeah, we're fine. This might get a little dicey though. Let's go ahead and Tech Terra once. Clean that up a little bit and then we can actually keep that guy up because it's like in a perfect spot for a tech terror i feel like and he's gonna keep rushing get this up this should defend i think i don't need to burn a boost against that yeah amazing amazing and we're just gonna get our trip darts going make sure we have a trip dart army because with enhanced eyesight in case he tries anything cheeky i'll get another fan club going we still have four farms and a ton of eco. Really good spot. This is great. Let's get one of these sun gods on strong as well. And then we want to make sure we have a max fan clip going at all times. So that means we need four of them. So yeah, like I said, once around 35 hits, we can counter. And that's what I'm going to do. You shouldn't be able to defend. We'll just send them a small rush, just two. But this is going to force an insane amount of defense or just baiting all out. And I think it's going to be the latter. 
So we expect to get all out. And this is why Dark Farm Super is taking over the meta boys, by the way. It's insane. I have two boosts and I probably won't even need to use them here. And notice how I have my Tech Terror ability back. So I saved myself money by not having to sell that. I have two boosts. Let's go ahead and cycle them. And then we can send him one more and then sell these top farms. I think I have one more farm up there. No, or not. And we can tech tear if things get scary, but it looks like we're fine for now. Make sure I have a fan club going so we can't stick any camos through my defense. And yeah, this is an easy defend. Super easy defend. Let's go and TT that. And now we just TT micro a little bit and should get the job done. It's honestly not even necessary at this point since I get my boost back in a sec, but doing what we can out here, baby. And yeah, man, we can use our last boost, but we don't need to. He's not defending that, so. He's trying to send camo, so I am going to boost. Just to make sure we're absolutely okay. And now we can just uh, tech tear micro for the win here. And that's a GG's. And that's why Dark Farm Super is just better, bro. This is this strategy is taking over. It's taking over the meta pool. And this game's been out for 10 years. Because they keep making the cheaper super. Or they make keep making the super cheaper. And it's just so, so strong. So, yeah, that's a GG, man. All right. 1-0. In that instance, I think he just needs to go NFE. <laughs> As NFE has a way better chance to, against me than his dart. But maybe he's just practicing dart. I mean, we just said try our best five, so he can go whatever he wants, you know? I asked what map he wants, because he should be able to pick. I don't know what map he even get, wants. We'll see. I'm just going to pick a map and see. YBR, okay. YBR is a notoriously a very, very strong NG map. We could try... Alright. I'm gonna get a little bit out of my comfort zone. Because I think that's what he did first game. He's not dart main. I am not a heli main. But heli farm ice counters NG. So, I'm gonna try to pull it off. I probably won't be successful. But either way, it's good practice. So, we're gonna try it out. I have no idea eco numbers or anything. I should figure that out. I'll hit up my boy Faxito. But he's gonna go NG. Yep, he's reads. So, how do we play this? I think we just have to start with... Uh, it's probably supposed to be an ice start here, not a heli start, but screw it. I'm going to do it anyways. And I'm just going to place this guy at the start. And then I'm actually going to eco a little bit. I want to stall this round out if possible. And he's not known to like anti-stall these rounds for some reason. Yeah, that's going to be a stalled out round, baby. So if he max anti-stalled, the round would end at 37 seconds game time. If, the, if round 3 starts at 37 seconds, that means round 1 and round 2 were fully anti-stalled. I noticed that the other day, so just uh, keep that in mind. Okay, so we're good. Got my farm down. Business as usual. I'm gonna rush him a little. I rush a little bit late. It's fine though. Let's go for our farm here. I expect to get sent a ton of pinks or blues of something. So he's going for the blues. Probably gonna bait me into getting up a ice, which is totally fine. Yeah, we'll get that up. And just a 1-1. One, one. And this should be fine for now. Should be absolutely fine for now. He's going to try pinks over the top, but I believe once they're permafrosted, they'll be slower and we'll be able to handle it. Yeah, perfect. Now I'm going to save it for my plantation. We actually don't need to, like, mix eco super heavy. Mix eco is a play here. Trying to get a bank or something like that with a decent high eco is not bad because obviously if I'm rushing him, it's going to be more likely that the rounds aren't anti-stalled, which is obviously good for us since we we actually do have a late game advantage so we need to make sure we can utilize that and we're gonna leak a fat amount here fine though i i think we do play mexico i could just go for the full passive route but i i honestly think i'm more comfortable in like a mexico bank type situation so that's what i'm gonna go for here he's also under defending he doesn't even have nine inch nails on that bad boy so this might be a boost low key let's see or he's just gonna get up a emergency ng in the back Goes for the Sprocky Poo, okay. Fair play, fair play. So now what we have to do is we actually have to... Wow, he leaking, leaking. We gotta move our uh, heli over here. Again, how often do you see me go heli on in this game, boys? It's not often. Okay. Setting up my double ice. Nothing should get by, in theory. And now I just farm on. Do I know what I'm doing? Not quite. I think I need quad dartes, because... My ice monkeys are not trying hard enough right now, boys, unfortunately. They're not trying very hard. 
This should help us a lot though, Quad Dartes. Yeah, we good. We good, boys. Send him leads. A few sets of leads there. For a round 11 rush, hmm. The safe play is to just go for a rotors. Because he's going to rush me. It's just inevitable here. And my double ice is offset. Yeah, we just go like this. Set up the double ice. Should be fine. And we're going to go ahead and counter rush him. Let's see how he plays this. Going for NG spam. And we get a boost. Really good. I'm content with that. He might just all out me. If he does, we get shards and a downdraft and boost. If I can afford that. <laughs> shards and boost, honestly. Okay, he has no boost right now. Mm, I really wish I could rush him, but I need to just farm on. Right? Or can I play aggro? I kind of want to play aggro. Yeah, I'm going to play aggro right here. Let's get another boost out of him here. That's a boost for sure. I think Zebra snuck through, right? No way! Wait, yeah, it did. Okay, it barely did anything, though. Unfortunate, McGee. Let's farm on here, boys. Um, It's looking like around 15 bank type of day. With 460 eco. Could be worse. Could definitely be worse. So, yeah, he's going to try to rush me right here to prevent my bank, I think. You just have to bank. I don't have a choice. I guess I could go late BIA, but I'm going late BIA anyways, after banking. So I left behind a little bit of money in case he does rush right here. Which I think he will. I'll skip a second one anyways. I want to try to sneak something past that trap. Okay, we got another boost. That's good. You need We need to drain the NFE boost because if this does go late game... Oh, he's dying. If this does go late game... And if he needs boost to do well. And we've already drained at least two of his boosts now. So it's really good. The problem is I might be over aggroing. And setting myself up to get drained. But I don't know. Like I said, I never use heli. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, this is going to be a downdraft, by the way. For Moabs. Yeah, he's going to go for a rush. Bloom rush or Moab rush? Let's see. It is a Moab. So we go downdraft tech. It's fine. Uh, I probably just need to boost this. Yeah, we have to boost that 100%. That's fine. Downdraft, go to work, baby. Downdraft is going to kill me. Great, man. Great job, Downdraft. You ruined it. You ruined it. Those regions were insanely smart. Oh my gosh. Well, now I'm drained. So that's just amazing. And I need to defend a Bia Fizzle. Oh my Lanta, dude. This is so bad. I have to... I didn't even get it off. Yeah, it's just, just GG's. This is just GG's. So here comes a BFB. Fun, right? <laughs> this is no bueno. Okay, so we have to pop this. And then once it becomes Moabs is when we actually have to AZ it right now. Now we can go down draft tech. And we can just boost this. He's sending camos. That defending. Okay. We can't defend rainbows with a $15,000 upgrade? Yeah, that's why I never go heli. I told you it would go horrible, but like I wanted to try it. I'd, I'd be so much better off trying dart there, but. All right, let's go um, go water hazard. Do I dare rockets? Cobra can be scary, but let's run it. He's either gonna go, no, not Cobra. He's gonna go what what is he gonna go both farm mortar basic i guess we'll find out but yeah that dude like he was low key like if i defended that i actually don't think we're out of that game because he sent so many bfbs 
he his farms are horrible at that point like dude we were not out of that and we had like 600 at least 600 maybe 700 eco that was that was interesting okay good luck have fun let's see what happens on this map i expect both farm order basic boy yep easy reads it could be boat farm glue but both farm order is just better on this map we'll see i like our odds here very much all we have to do is make it to the late game and we should win this game but this my strategy needs to be executed perfectly rounds 13 to 21 basically so he's gonna get a second boat to try and anti-stall which is the correct play he needs to make these rounds fly by or else i'm gonna get way too much money for his liking now i'm still trying to figure out the optimal round 13 defense with this loadout because obviously you can go for a reactor right that's a play but the problem with going for a reactor is that's just one more thing you have to sell to get up your sniper farm so what if i just go for like a a one three sniper and then have like a ballistic is that worth i don't know because then like camel rushes get spooky as well so another play is instead of hiding my sniper in a corner what we can do is we can get it like over here that way we can get advanced intel for camos too now this just seems so like a waste of time i don't know what i'm talking about i'll figure it out along the way we just wing it that's what we that's what we do on this channel boys <laughs> we wing it and then just hope our uh, natural instincts take over and we win sometimes that's just how it works but we have 400 eco round six which is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal and since he hasn't sent me like anything my darts aren't chasing at all so i'm just fine chilling here we're being chilling if he does decide to send me a massive rush we just put this on strong let it clean up for a while and then micro on the first and then we can burn spikes if need be but absolutely golden moment 487 eco going to round seven really good i should be able to actually send him a massive round eight rush the problem is i need to make sure i can defend one on my own so i think we go for like a round we go for a round 16 sniper farm. So it's going to be a little bit later than usual. And I'm going to play a little bit higher eco than usual. Because I think I think that just is going to work. Because I don't really want to sell a ton of defense. So by doing this, we'll send him a large rush right here, by the way. Let's see what he does. Um, Goes for another grape shot set. He might have boat farm ace or something wonky. It's giving me vibes of something of that nature. I don't think he has mortar. He would go for a mortar at that point, right? So he's gonna send me a massive rush that doesn't do anything he could if he actually kept sending you can overwhelm double air burst but he obviously doesn't play against sub enough to know that which is fine um maybe boat farm glue i don't think he has anything weird like dark farm super or boat farm super that would just wouldn't work he would die to region led rushes all right so there's a decent chance he sends me a large round 11 rush. And in that case, like ballistic is viable. But I think reactor is probably better. Um, okay, let's go ahead and rush him a little bit here. I think I can bait boost. I can't be overly aggressive though, because I need to defend round 13. That was a terrible rush. What am I doing? All right, we're not going to talk about that chat. We're not going to talk about that. Okay. So what do I want to do, bro? I don't know how I want to play this. His farms are getting too good. And I think he has like... Let's send him this because this is going to force Crow's Nest. We need to at least force defense. I can't let him get a round 14 BIA or right? Not let you get a round 14 BIA, Ski. One set of region rainbows does so much to his current defense, by the way. That's just... That's going to... Yeah, he spikes it. He's smart. That's like the biggest brain spike. That separates good players from rookie players. Knowing when to use spikes right there for region control. Nicely played. Um, get our semi-auto. I don't know what I'm really doing, but we can send him grouped leads on this next round. I think we just have to kind of aggro a little bit. Why, though? Like, I should out-late game him, but, like, I, I just want to see him use his third tower. Plus, like, cannon ship is, like, the worst reliable lead popping power, so... <laughs> Let's see what he does here. Double cannon ship, probably? Yeah. We can just keep sending, though. And then we just send blocks over the top. And this should actually kill. Yeah. We get another boost. He's trying to greed for BIA. Doesn't get it. Rounds. Oh, okay. Yeah, see ya. You need to get up your ace or whatever you have here. Yep, easy reads. And I think he's dead because this strat's just terrible. 
Yeah, this strat's just terrible, bro. You cannot rely on freaking cannon ship for region life popping power. You did not just one life clutch me, bro. That is insane. That is so lucky. Oh my god. But he has no farms. So he's probably just gonna allow me on this round. In which case, we just have to micro like a god. But it is defendable. Round 18 is extremely difficult here, but it is defendable. So let's get our chipper down because we're gonna need that. He's gonna send me a big rush. We have all our spikes as well. So the plays actually just sell the sniper farm, by the way. Or just the this guy. And we go like that. Perfect. And this defense. Oh, why are you still rushing, man? That's not the play. It's not the play. Not the play. Do not keep rushing. Round 20 is your money round, not round 19. Yeah, farm on. Okay, you're dead uh, leads this round. Bye-bye. AI leads come in like two seconds. Three, two, one. AI leads. Boom, there they are. They're on the battlefield, and now guess what? Here come my leads. Here come my leads, buddy. No way. You need like four cannon ships, bro. Yeah, that's a boost ski. I'm over aggroing though. I'm setting myself up to get killed next round. Is he dead? No way. He's gonna all out me right here. If he sends Moabs, I'm just gonna balloon boost. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna get past. Okay, this is actually really bad. Let's go ahead and rush him again. I, I, he's gonna rush me, but like I need to be rushing him as well. I can't let him just get. I think he's out of boost now. By the way, that should be GG. Yeah, he's gonna have to counter. A BFB is coming my way probably. And we actually don't want to pop this. Yeah, he's dying anyways. We would we would have wanted to counter because, like, we might be able to defend that on boost, but we have 16 ceramics to deal with. All right, we're up to one. He wants a mountain pass. Ew. Gross. Not surprised though. Ng mains love this map because Ng farms packs just meta. It's gotta be ninja or glue, bro. We let's just go glue. This is so bad, like. NC Farm's back is just meta on this map, and I lose that mirror match. It's not even worth trying. This is annoying. Okay. Thunder P goes what I just said, though. I'm gonna spike that. I'm gonna anti stall this round so he doesn't get any bananas. Yeah, I hate playing NG Farm's back on this map, man. I guess it's just a get good moment, right? Come on, Asian, just get good, buddy. Let's get after it. Yeah, he gets his farm down. It's fine. He's gonna go for sentry guns in a second. But yeah, how do we win this? Like, we just have to defend. <laughs> we gotta hang on for as long as possible. It's like we're getting pulled on the tube on the lake, bro. And we're just holding on for dear life. That's that's what it's gonna be like once he starts sending me ZMGs. And my spike storm micro is gonna have to be S tier. But we can make it work, bro. I, I actually think we can pull this off. It's just not going to be easy, essentially. But someone's got to carry the boats, baby. It's going to be us this game, baby. Go. So he's going to send... I was really so close to four in the bionic boomy. That's unfortunate. All right, there we go. We got the boomster up. Amazing. And we kind of just sit here and go back to ecoing now. So I think he just has a 2-0 engineer. Which means he's going to get his plantation next round, which is just bad news bears. Sure, you can only fit two farms on this map. Well, technically you can fit three, but it's extremely difficult. Um, even three in that like top area, but yeah, he gets his plant. Um, what he's going to do is he's, we got to delay his BIA for as long as possible. He's going to want a BIA like round. I don't even know, but either way, it just sucks because I'm forced to eco into his balloon trap and just feed him cash money. Not ideal. He's gonna send us okay. blacks. Does this on last just solo? Do we solo dolo? Okay, we can go for a glue here. Yeah, let's go for a glue on strong. That'll just help our boom ski out. Because we're actually kind of leaking, leaking. We don't need corrosive or anything, but it's kind of blows chunks right now, bro. So he's gonna want to farm, 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 farm. I just have to be aggro, force defense when I can, and this is a prime spot to force some defense. He gets up the Sprockinator. Oh, not much we can do after that. I mean, we can try to rush into round eight. Yeah, since he's like kind of chasing, let's try it. And the round, man, round don't want to end. He's gonna rush me. We just get up glue splatty, and we're fine. Don't even need corrosive on that. Let's just defend, I think. 
So I think I'm kind of forced to aggro this this round. Let's go ahead. He's gonna want to farm, right? Let's force a nine inch nails with this rush, hopefully, or a boost. He's just gonna boost that, isn't he? No, nope, we get a niner out of him. Perfect. End game. Um, that's good. And now we just bloom boost this at him. We have to play aggro, bro. We don't have a choice. He didn't even need to boost that. He could just leak like 20 lives, but that works. Okay. Now we actually want Karosi on this. So let's get that. And we're going to send him some leads here. Hopefully sneak those through. Any little bit helps. If we can get spikes out of him, that's great. Really good. Yeah, screw off, buddy. I'm screwed round 12 or round 13, bro. <laughs> So now he has a balloon trap. What? Oh, he's setting up double balloon trap in case I all out. I'm guessing. I don't know. Matic is bad. Skill issue. Baseball. <laughs> all right. Um, we need to just get up defense. He has a lot of money cooked up. He's cooking right now, bro. It's a bit scary. As soon as I go for my spike balls, he probably rushes me, huh? Um, let's just rush him, bro. I have to eco, which sucks. Cause we're feeding him money, bro. I don't like it. I don't like it. Also, we should be sending blocks as opposed to whites. Because they're the same RBE, but the blocks are actually more expensive. Which favors us because we feed him less money. Okay. I don't like it, chat. I don't like it. He's going to get his BIA soon because I'm feeding him free money. You hate to see it. All right, we have to try to get leads by him here, I think. You have to try something, bro. Probably doesn't even do anything, but I hope it does. Just die, please. No, Lokesh, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to defend. So I think he just BIAs. Oh, he's going to rush me, actually. Okay. I mean, you're just delaying your BIA. As he gets it. Okay. I think we have to go psycho mode here. We have to rush. Ideally, we get a boost out of him right here. Yeah, I mean, we have to. Wait, he died! Never mind. I tried to speak it into existence. <laughs> it didn't work, Chad. It didn't work. Dang it, man. All right, we get his spike balls ASAP now. Uh, this is really tough. This is going to be a toughie. This is going to be a toughie. Get that up, though. I mean, my eco's actually not bad, considering I'm playing aggro as well. The problem is, feeding the NG man money is never a good idea. Why am I selling whites again? It's just out of habit. Okay, we got to stop ecoing at, like, 1200 and then I gotta start prepping for the basils which will not be fun so that will require us going for a glue hose so that we can you know hit the mobs I still want to rush him bro I still want to rush him let's hope this forces defense please overwhelm yes he gets double trap die die Ah, uh, you clutched up. See, we gotta take desperate plays like that, man. We have to. Now we gotta prepare for defending, um... Whatchamacallit. He just sold an NG, which means he... Well, he might have just got his SPAC. Or, yeah. He probably sends me a bit of Bizzle, though. I would if I were him. Yep, there it is. Now we just need to get the SPAC Storm Ski. And then we're vibing. So, we can sell our turbo to do this, actually. This is so annoying, man. Or we could sell the glue. No. I don't want to keep the glue. Let's just keep our turbo up. And then we'll sell it for Spike Storm once it wears off. I think that's the play. Or I guess I can just afford Spike Storm in a second. That also works. Yeah, we'll just Spike Storm this. And that defense. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Problem is, guess what, dude? Misery ain't over, bro. I gotta defend another frick uh, ZOMG soon. So how are we gonna do that? 
So that's when Spike Minds enters the chat, but like... Still, man. Not gonna be fun. Does he send me one right here? I think he wants to be a er, facility right here. I think I got a space eco a little bit. Yeah, this, this is when I gotta play like low eco because DOMGs are no joke, man. Also, we're struggling against AI. I think I need another, uh, that thingy. Don't die. Oh my lanta. Yeah, ZOMG is going to be coming on our screen any second now. I'm not very enthusiastic about dealing with that. So yeah, he has max farms right now. So <laughs> he's just going to be cooking up cash, man. I don't Ugh. Let's just eco with reds because his sentries will pop him. So we're actually not feeding the trap. But at the same time, we're getting eco, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, we got to get the spike mines ASAP. Let's do that. My eco's in shambles, but like, it don't matter, bro. We're already at such a big deficit. I got to take calculated plays here. Um, hmm. Can I fit you here? I can. Let me get you up right there. Okay, he's gonna send me a zoom G here. Let's get ready. Let's lock in, baby. It's go time. Okay, you can rush me. You can eco. Go ahead, buddy. Get some eco. I'll join you. Let's both get some eco, eh? Why am I turbocharging right now? Okay, he's just he's trying to take it late now. Unless he's just baiting me and now he's just gonna send me a massive rush. <laughs> Could happen. I honestly think I stopped ecoing like around 27, maybe. I don't know. I'm just, dude, I'm like panicking. Let's get up a Glaive Lord right here, though, as well. Thoughts? Because AI is kind of spooky. And it just eats my spikes up. I'm sure, I have spike mines, but like. Nah. I think he sends me one in a second. Let's get up our Shredder. Shredder actually increases the range of that, huh? Interesting. I'll go to 2,500 eco, and then we're going to call it quits. And then I'm going to start saving up for rushes. The only advantage we have here is that we have glue as a stall. So technically, we're going to have almost twice as long to defend a rush in theory. The thing is, we're going to be much more broke than our boy here. Not good for us. Yeah, I kind of like getting up a Glaive Lord here because it... It takes a little bit of the pressure off our spike mines, and then we can build up more spikes. You know? Also, why do I have this guy down here? Like, what is he doing? He's not contributing anything. He's get what are you? Yeah, nice, dude. Bro always messes up his hotkeys, I swear. He's getting up a shredder. That way he can pop the mobs into his bloom traps. Makes sense. Must be nice, buddy. So... I suppose I should probably get up a Segundo, uh, whatever this guy's called, Biked Mines. It's gonna be kind of necessary for our victory here. So, I'll play out exactly what's gonna happen. Round 30 is gonna hit. He's gonna sell his farms. He's gonna send me all out ZOMGs with like 20k and change so he can micro a counter. Um, he can also overclock his Spiked Mines, which is really strong. We don't have that luxury either. Okay, he's actually prepping for an all-out immediately. Oh, never mind. I thought he I don't think that I thought that was intentional. I thought he was just boosting so he gets as many spikes on the map as possible, and then he counters. But it won't make sense for him or not counter. It won't make sense for him to rush me right now because it's round 29, so ramping doesn't start till next round. So how do we defend here? I think we need a balloon liquefier, actually. Right? It slows it down a slight bit less. But it shreds the interiors better. Let's go like that. And we can get one in the back over here as well. And this will I'll have to spike storm micro right here, which is terrible. Uh, I was gonna fake bloom boost, act like I'm rushing him, but can't really do that. Um turbocharges are kind of useless now. I think. It's so bad. Like, I don't want to be the first one to have to rush, but at this point, like, the later this goes on, the more everything's ramped. And it just becomes trouble. Uh, I think I have to rush. 
Dude, Lokesh does not have good micro. Let's send it. I have to run. Oh my god, that timing is so bad. That is like the worst possible timing. Like, I need to counter though. Okay, let's see. Um, we actually don't want to pop this. We don't want to pop any of these. We don't want to pop any of these because... And now we have to send BFBs over the top. This is our kill rush. So here's the thing we can do. We can sell a few things up top to... Yeah, we actually are going to want to move this down. Here. I don't think he defends that. But I've seen crazier things. We have to just all in here. Moab's at the top. I think he dies. I don't, it's too late, bro. Round 33, these are so strong. Look how far that ZMG is. Yeah, you're dead, buddy. GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to drop a like, low hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next one. Bye!